Hello, Matthew Williams here with a quick video to say, Oh dear, the shit has hit the fan. Mr. Robert van der Broek showing his true colours. As we were telling people, but they didn't listen, he's a nasty bastard. He is a nasty bastard. So now we can add Robert to the um, the types of people like Gary King, you know, violent, abusive, you know, really, really, you know, out there to cause as much shit as they possibly can. Anyway, this came to me first as this, which is um, s somebody, I'll keep the name out of it, um, sent me uh, a notification that this website had gone down, which is Robert van der Broek's website. It says um, something along the lines of, I'll bring it basically it basically comes up and says um, dear visitor due to circumstances this website is no longer active all planned group readings are cancelled as well we thank you for your understanding his website had gone down so I, I was asked to look into it and somebody passed me the information and said you want to have a look at this because on the 15th today there was a um, news report saying Dutch medium Robert van der Broek arrested for threatening several people. Local broadcaster um, Omrop Brabant reports that Dutch medium Robert van der Broek was arrested on the 6th of January and held at the police station for three days. That's a long time. Normally you're just arrested, questioned and let out. So unless he was considered a serious threat, which maybe he was, he, they actually thought he was wasn't just saying he was going to do these things, they thought he was capable of them. Because if they, you know, are keeping him in for that amount of time, I would imagine there's probably one of a couple of reasons. He's deemed to be a threat. When they arrested him, they searched his house, took his computers for evidence. Maybe they found more than they bargained for. And this has turned into a much bigger case. I'm not sure about that but I can imagine if you're holding somebody for three days it might mean something significant so I don't know where this is going to go but um, Van der Broek it says has quite a history of harassing people but he's always been claiming that it was not him who did this but a hacker um, the alleged hacker must possess super hacking skills and the tenacity to monitor van der Broek's activities 24 7 because the threats in the form of hate mail nasty face and twitter comments coming from his accounts occur in very close alignment with those um, and it says in 2005 van der Broek was exposed as a fraud by rob nanninger editor-in-chief of skepta um, and it says you can read about this on Wik wikipedia um, after he was um, after he wasn't seen on national television for quite some time um, but he kept on doing his usual business with crop circles and ghost photography his photography tricks have also been exposed by Naninga and myself okay and it says see the photography tricks of Robert van der Broek on this website so I'll have a look at that in a second um, but it says uh, in the past, more people have made statements against Van der Broek, but these were not followed up by the police. It looks like desperately he, he takes, seeks the attention of the media, going far as doing business with convicted killer Jordan van der Sloot, um, with whom he seems to have some sort of love-hate relationship. Um, recently, Van der Broek went even further than before, um, including leaving pornographic photos of himself on the fake facebook pages of other celebrities and making really nasty threats um which were similar in nature to the enormous outs of hate hate mail he has sent to his critics see below it says according to um brabant the amsterdam police held van der broek for three days but have let him go for the time being he remains a suspect in the case but he has um but it has to be to, it has yet to be decided whether he will be prosecuted for these threats in the meantime van der broek's website has been closed down by van der broek himself as well as his facebook pages um and as uh, and his public figure facebook page and his twitter account um brabant were unable to reach van der broek for a reaction um, 
On her website, Constantia Uman wrote an in-depth story of the Vanderbroek case, which starts with his um, beginning of his career and runs up until now. Um, yeah, I'm interested in the photographic stuff, you know, the devil which was photographed by... Um, yeah, so there's a guy exposing some of the methods of how he did it, you know, including the bullshit about um, Dave Chorley and Pat Delgado, um, you know, this was directed obviously at Colin Andrews um, but all I can say is I'm really quite uh, I, I'm quite glad this has happened because Robert does seem to me like a nasty sort of character that he's really preying on people um, and their vulnerabilities because of death in families and things like this um, and you know he's trying to make money out of it he's actually trying to make money out of you know lying to people so I, I'm, I'm you know I'm not surprised this has happened you know there's 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 something not quite right with this guy and um, yeah let's let's see where this goes so um, obviously a lot of egg on the face now for Nancy Talbot because she's always backed him up and said oh no Robert is great Robert is great well here we go you know first it was um, Levin Good now it's Robert van der Broek you know not looking very good for Nancy, is it, from a credibility point of view? But okay, let's see where this goes. Um, can't really, you know, damn it all yet, but uh, I think this isn't going anywhere very good fast. But anyway, um, yeah, Brabant um, News Television Radio um, had this to say Arrested for death threats, quote, I cut your throat. Yeah. Well, he actually wrote he wrote things to me. I've got emails from him. I'm not going to make them public here, but um, put it like this. They were very threatening, and they were very, very vile and disgusting, um, and included pictures and all sorts. I didn't know whether to take it seriously, because, you know, but obviously Robert was upset with me at the time, because I was talking about um, his crop circles as being crap and looking like they were fake. And then I start to get these things come through. Now, it, if this is correct, then I seem to possibly have been one of the people who may have been threatened as well. So there we are. Well, we'll see, won't we? So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, nanu nanu.